nothing. Now, what kind of scientist doesn't keep any notes? An eccentric one? Well, there's one consolation. It intersects as so far behind as we are. You hope. What's all this have to do with Dr. Friedman's death? You just keep your eye on that girl at the diving board. Leonard, you don't have to tell me twice. Amy Nichols, silver medalist at Montreal, prior to the Santa Laura girls' varsity, and the female Mark Spitz. The only hope Intersect has of ever completing Dr. Friedman's experiments. That's it? Leonard, it was just getting interesting. Yes, being around a girls' swimming team would be interesting for an invisible man. Mind if I play that back? She'll remember enough of his experiments, huh? Well, she should. Dr. Friedman hired her for a photographic memory. He didn't think much of record keeping. Well, if she should have trouble recalling his experiments, we could help her. Deep hypnosis, trip so. Sounds delightful. I'm not sure he could be the one that tells her she has all that to look forward to. Oh, but you are. Oh, no, Leonard. Wait a minute. Not me. It's not my job to collect young chicks so you can put their heads through the wash and rinse cycle, Leonard. Give that to somebody else. Sam, the secret that may be inside that pretty little head is devastating enough to change the balance of power in the entire world. And the slightest misstep now could tip our hand to the other side and put them on Amy's track. Now, with stakes this high, believe me, the agents they would use would be the best blood money could buy. Dr. Friedman was working for Intersect. And you are a trusted member of Intersect. Besides, I can always do this. And I can always do this little trick. Right, gang? Right. And your very next appearance is at Santa Laura College. All right. Hi, guys. Who are you? We're the backfield. The question is, who are you? Oh, just a fan. Can't you read? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess I'll uh, be cutting out now. Frisco. Oh, wait, hey, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. What's going on? Huh? A lot of people like to know ahead of time what our girls are doing at the Pan American meet. We're just here to make sure that. What's that? It's a watch. I got tired of carrying you around a grandfather clock. <laughs> Wise guy, huh? He's clean. No cameras, nothing. That doesn't prove anything. Now, I don't know whether you're a spy from some other team or just some nosy sports reporter, but if you want to see our girls perform, you buy a ticket for the Pan Am Games in Dallas. On the bike. Let's go, huh? 
to move her. Okay, Moose, go to the right, cut to the left, I'll hit you with the goal. Got it? Hey, what happened to it? I don't know, I got another one in the car. Come on! Okay, ready? Hey, Moose, look! Who's the wise guy that slipped me the trick ball, huh? What you doing, would you please? Oh, sorry. sorry. Oh, hey, Amy. Want to bet we break 350 in the relays? I wouldn't want to bet against you all, ever. Hey, how's the new dad coming? Super, you want a preview? Sure. sure. Miss Nichols, may I speak to you a minute? Oh, listen, you don't have to apologize. It didn't hurt. Hey, wait a minute. You, you don't work here. Look, before you call in the football team, let me explain, all right? Name is Sam Casey. Well, it couldn't be um, about my taxes, because I'm an amateur. No, ma'am, it's about Dr. Friedman. We understand that you were his lab assistant during your freshman year. Yeah, so? He died Monday. Oh, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're sorry, too. We were hoping maybe you could help us reconstruct his basic work. I don't see how. Well, you're reputed to have a photographic memory. Photographic, yes. Permanent, no. It's been, um, over three years. I don't remember any of it. Miss Nichols, I don't know quite how to put this, but... we have certain methods which could help us boost your memory. What kind of methods? Well, for instance, there are special drugs which in the right doses... You've got to be kidding! I've trained for over a year for these Pan-American games, and you want me to take drugs? Maybe you'd like to come along with me to Dallas and explain what drugs are doing in my bloodstream. All right, look, forget the drugs. We could use deep hypnosis, for instance. Oh, well, that's even better than I could do all my dives in a trance. And I suppose you want me to very happily volunteer for all this. Well, no way. Thank you just the same. Miss Nichols, if you don't want to do this for your own country, you could wind up doing it for another one. And I guarantee that their methods of persuasion wouldn't be as pleasurable. Look, the only thing on my mind right now is the Pan American Games on Friday. And if you think you can frighten me into dropping that for any reason, you're wrong. Now, I told you I don't remember any of Dr. Friedman's experiments, and I'm not going to be a part of yours. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a train to catch. <laughs> I did tell her, Leonard, but she wouldn't listen. And now she's leaving for Dallas. But we just got an intelligence report. The other side definitely knows Amy's connection to the experiments. Oh, fine. Who on the other side? We don't know yet. You call that intelligence? Look, Sam, I don't care how you do it, but convince Amy she's got to come here. And go easy on the invisibility, Sam. 
You've used up four minutes already and more than 15 per cycle. And I know, Abby. Failsafe brings me back to visibility or I fade away forever. Look, tell that girl it's not just for us, it's for her own safety. Meanwhile, protect her. Okay, I'll do the best I can, Leonard, but so far, Little Mermaid has been immune to my charms. All right, an intersect team will meet the train and bring you both back here. What's the first major stop? Uh, it's Phoenix, Arizona, Leonard. No, I don't know what time it arrives. I'm not a travel agent, Leonard. Look, I gotta go. Hello. Oh, uh, why, of all the people in the world that could have an accident that would make them invisible, why did it have to be surfboard sand? What's that? A train schedule. Dallas? You wait until tomorrow. What, what do you mean, wait till tomorrow? Coach, four of the compartment all sold out. But I gotta get on that train. Sorry. Thank you. You mean? Francis, it doesn't matter. As long as Casey ends up dead. <laughs> Jen. He's not a friend, just someone looking for very gullible guinea pigs. Sheila Silver, a lead-off on the relay team. Hi, Sheila. <laughs> um, Sheila, do you mind if Amy and I have a moment alone? I understand. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? All right, look, I don't like this any more than you do. But I am going to save your waterlogged hide, whether you think you need it or not. Oh, how brave. And I thought chivalry was dead. Well, we're both going to be dead if you don't shut up and listen to me. No, you listen to me. I've had it up to here with your scare tactics. No, I don't trust you or Intersect. And I don't believe any of your cloak and dagger stories. Now, I'm going to have you thrown off this train, preferably while it's moving. Steward! Yes, ma'am. This man's bothering me. What man? This man. Never mind. Come on, get 
tell me all about it. I'm just dying to know. I finally got rid of him. Got rid of him? You gotta be kidding. He's gorgeous. Really? I didn't notice. Come on, you guys. Let's go to bed. <laughs> Get away from me, Oma. At least she sounded lovely. Tell me, was she as pretty as her voice? Yes. No, no I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, she's here. She's even prettier. <laughs> I'm Mrs. Price. How do you do, Mrs. Price? I'm Sam Casey. Oh, uh, you don't mind? No, no. Delighted to meet you. You don't know how delighted I am to meet you. Of course, I didn't hear what you and your sweetheart were talking about, but I can recognize a lover's quarrel any day. And I do hope you two get back together. So does my boss. Are you traveling alone, Mrs. Price? Why, young man, I've been around the world twice alone. On ships, planes, even a caravan. But trains are my favorite. They give you a chance to read. Agatha Christie. In Braille, of course. But I just love stories about intrigue and danger aboard a train. Don't you? Well, frankly, I could uh, do without it. <laughs> May I have your tickets, please? I think what makes a train story so compelling is that even though the characters are just sitting and talking, they're still moving rushing headlong into mystery. May I have your ticket, please, Mrs. Price? Oh, certainly. Thank you. Ark, uh, why doesn't he ask for yours? Um, well, I gave him mine earlier, Mrs. Price. Well... I think I'll go to my compartment. Can I uh, give you a hand? Oh, no, thank you. <clears throat> Good night, Mr. Casey. Good night, Mrs. Price.
make a scene. You want to protect me, but I don't want to be protected. I want to be left alone. So let's make a compromise, okay? Okay, like what? Like, you see that I'm very safe with my teammates. So, if you still want to play watchdog, there's the baggage car. It's as close a place as any, and you're welcome to stay in it. All right. Compromise. But we're picking us up in the morning where we left off, all right? Right. Have a good night's sleep, Sam, dear. Notice his eyes. Mm -hmm. I swear I can smell his aftershave right now. <laughs> Oh, I 
should have known it was you. It's not me you have to worry about. I keep telling you it's the other guys. Are we going to go over that again? Mm. Hey, what happened to you? Someone was putting a little present in your luggage I got in his way. In my luggage? Who? Well, it wasn't the Tooth Fairy. See that? This one tell him where you were every minute. It saves a lot of legwork. That's my alarm clock. Mm -hmm. Sonic, when your alarm went off in the morning, so would this. What is that? Yes, probably. They want to take you alive. But when you finally woke up, it wouldn't have been in Dallas. And you'd have been playing 20 questions whether you wanted to or not. I'm sorry, I should have listened to you in the beginning. It's all right. I didn't exactly promise you a week in Acapulco, did I? Are you now? It might be good fun. <laughs> well, what do you want me to do? Okay, get dressed. Meet me outside the car. Because we're going to get off in Phoenix. Hey, wait a minute. If those girls see you again, you're going to end up with a lot more bruises. It's all right, they ain't going to see me. Glasses of orange juice, please. Right away. Thank you. I keep hoping I'm gonna wake up from all this, but it's real. It'll all be over soon. Yesterday, all I could think about was diving at the Pan Am Games. And I wonder if I'll live that long. No way you're not going to make that mean. Don't worry about it. Thank you. There Thank you, you sir. Keep it. Not only are you going to make that mean, but you're going to be brilliant. What's the matter? Oh, I'm just too nervous to keep anything down. Desert Palms. Ten minutes stop. Desert Palms. Here's to Dallas. the station. Ten minutes.
engine disappeared. Something wrong? Looks like the mighty Casey has struck out. All aboard! Dozen men there when that train pulls into Phoenix, and that's that. Oh, Lord, Sam's using up almost all his time. with Amy and What are you doing here, huh? Mm. You jump off the train? It's a fine watchdog you turned out to be, huh? Leave you with Amy and look what happens. Come here, boy. Come here. 
What are you trying to tell me, huh? You know where Amy is? Let's go. Station's gotta be that way. Come on, come on, let's go. Lucky? What are you trying to tell me, huh? What's the matter, huh? What's the matter with you? What are you trying to tell me? You know where Amy is? All right, go get her. Go find her. When? You're certain? Understood. What's wrong? Just got a call from the railroad. Amy's disappeared, and Sam's jumped off the train. Jumped off? Yeah, somewhere in Chisholm County. Give me the Chisholm County police. I want every man they got out looking for Casey. Whoa! Hey, wait a minute, buddy. Remember, you got four legs. I only got two. Easy, easy. Uh-huh. But I think I just found four more. Come on, Lucky. I'm still here, Lucky. Come on, boy. Follow. something in better condition? It was a very small railroad station, Francis, not a used car lot. seconds will do. Thank <laughs> you. 
shooting at us. Hold it. Get down. Out of the car. Hey, lucky. Excellent, Sam. Excellent. You say she's willing to go through with the memory recall. Well, yes and no, Leonard. What's that mean? Yes, she'll do it, but not until the Pan Am meet is over. Leonard, you wouldn't want to let the American team down now, would you? Oh, and Leonard, while you're at it, get me a ticket to it. Uh, Leonard, better make that two. <laughs>